in the hills behind West Bank, there's a lot of wonderful things to do and a couple of very well-kept secrets. In fact, today, we're going to meet a remarkable horse who does tricks. And let me tell you, this is no one-trick pony. In fact, we're going to find out what a horse takes when he goes to the beach. Okay, can you read it? Sunscreen. Sunscreen, yeah. Okay. He's got his sunscreen. He needs it to be on his pink, pink nose. Underneath, he's uh, well protected because he has dark skin, but uh, on his nose is pink. What else did you bring to the beach? What else? Yeah, you know you can pop. Bucket. All right. Catch the frisbee. No. Hey, I'm the boss. Remember today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Who needs a dog? Ishtar, I would say, is highly intelligent, playful, and very opinionated, which I have allowed. Jen Fisher is making the most of her horse's cheeky nature. Ishtar. <laughs> He's polite. Thank you. Thank you. You are very helpful sometimes. Continue that, okay? And a great partner. Janice and Ishtar practice classic dressage six days a week, and they use as little tack as possible to show off his skills. This is our leg yield. Give the shoulder in where the horse's shoulders are crossing over. The gelding is nearly 16 hands high, and Janice says he's initiated a number of his own tricks. As I was working in the barnyard, he would find horseshoes to wiggle on the fence post and so I thought oh you know he wants to make music and so I'll just tie a couple together and that can be something four plus five or so at 12 years old Ishtar has many years of performing left but if you're in a hurry to catch his act you can see him at City Park July 25th for the Fat Cat Children's Festival I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Is there any reason I should trust you? Well, how about this time you guys call his name Ishtar, okay? And distract him, really, so I can get this done up. Ready? One, two, three. Smile for the camera, Ishtar.